LED light therapy stands for light emitting diode, which is essentially is a colored light. We have many different colors as part of the visible spectrum. And each of these colors represents a band of wavelengths that can penetrate through the skin. The classic LED colors that we rely on here in a dermatology practice or at home includes blue light, which has been shown scientifically to kill off a lot of the bacteria that may cause inflammation and drive acne. We also can use yellow light, which can actually reduce redness and in fact have some anti-aging benefits as well. So yellow light has been shown to improve fine lines and wrinkles and help stimulate collagen production. And finally, infrared light, which is an invisible wavelength, can penetrate the skin to help wound healing as an anti-inflammatory wavelength and for pain. It's particularly useful after medical procedures to help reduce swelling and to speed up the healing process. It's my LED light mask. We certainly don't have any evidence that home LED devices are going to be anywhere as powerful or as effective as an in-clinic LED device, and they can certainly cost a pretty penny. Yes, these masks look sci-fi and uh, pretty cool for a lot of people, and uh, certainly frightening off uh, your family or neighbours perhaps. But the idea is that when you go to a professional practice, the LED lights that are used are often in an order of thousands compared to a few hundred in-home LED masks. And they're also powered by very powerful energy sources. In my professional point of view, home LED masks are certainly harmless, but I don't believe they're necessarily going to confer long-term benefits.